just gotta like put it down. What is going on everyone? Welcome to another episode of Pop Tarts and Pints. We are here with my mom. And today we have another pint versus pint challenge. The idea with- I got this one. We went to two stores for this, okay? So I got this one. So we, uh, the idea behind this video is that if you watched one of the other videos, which will be linked above, uh, I am a big mouthfeel guy and my mom is big into uh, flavor and decadence. So you want to talk about haagen You don't need to say any more than haagen Oh, wait, one other word. Belgian. Belgian chocolate. It's like based out of New okay. Jersey, though. Case closed. <laughs> we had we had it in Belgium last year. It was the best when we were there. In any case, um, you will see uh, in this video how we rate these ice cream flavors. Um, obviously, based on flavor, mouthfeel, packaging value, and uh, there's another category I should know it since I host the show. But in any case, so I picked out one of my favorite flavors from Ben and Jerry's, uh, one of the cores. Um, I think that this mouthfeel is going to tr crush the Belgian chocolate uh, decadence, which I don't really care about because I don't think mouthfeel is going to be there. So I, I need to convince her that Ben and Jerry's is the way to go over haagen -Dazs. Let us know. Do you uh, think this is... Okay, we started him at a very early age. She's so, the reason why this why, he loves ben why this exists. This is the reason why I love chocolate, I love ice cream. It is from her. She is the OG. She is the master with ice cream. Mm -hmm. um, and That's as, why I know how to pick it. And this is going to crush that. <laughs> we'll see. So, um, these were bowls um, that we used when we were kids. Mickey, my older brother, used this one. Are You'll you see sure him. you don't want the Seven Dwarves? They were your favorite. You walked around singing. Hi ho, hi ho. So yeah. I think this is your bowl, <laughs> You're and this is my bowl in honor of Brett, who is 3,000 miles away in California. It is about 8:37 at night on Saturday. I'd usually be in bed, very tired, um, but we were responsible. We did have our dinner, mm -hmm. uh, pizza, so good hearty <laughs> meal. We'll be super setting with <laughs> water. Also, the macros for these ice creams. Um, I don't know which one's higher in calories. Oh, haagen is higher in calories. The calories will it's be higher in flavor. Above here, we'll see about that. <laughs> and so right off the bat, this is what we're working out with the brownie batter core. It looks absolutely beautiful, as I say in every single video. So you can see right there, little that bit of that brownie batter core. Do you want to try this ice cream first? Absolutely. Save some room for later. <laughs> Got a Gustus Gloop over here. All right. <laughs> I think for my mom, any vanilla is too much vanilla. The brownie chunks are good. They're good. A little chewy, but they're very rich, which I really like. One thing I also I like about this is that sometimes Ben and Jerry's like the flavor kind of punches you in the face, like it's so sugary. This is like a good mix of chocolate vanilla ice creams with the brownie in it as well. So it's mm -hmm. like it's a pretty classic idea of having brownie in like an ice cream sundae, um, but they just put in brownie bits and then you have that brownie batter core, which I think is really exciting because it's, if you're that one annoying person to just eat out all the core and leave the rest of the ice cream. I think. <clears throat> Who can you be talking about? I eat the whole pint. I'm not gonna like leave part of it in. <laughs> Scoops and you're like, then there's this background music. Yeah. Do you want to start us off with flavor? <laughs> Give it an eight, eight and a half. It's, it's good. It's, it's very good. Yeah. Flavor. Okay, you got yeah, eight and a half for that. Cool. Yeah, Thank you for doing. Honestly, an eight point eight. I think it's good. I do like the chocolate and the vanilla. I'm not a huge vanilla person because you raised me. I think it's good chocolate. I don't think it's overly sweet. And I think the brownies are good. I like the brownies more than I like the core. The core to me was too sweet. The brownies are nice and rich. And they also didn't abuse the brownies. Like there's there's enough in there. Right. Um, mouthfeel. I do like the mouthfeel. Uh, again, an eight and a half. Um, I'm gonna give that an eight point nine. No, I mean I can't give it a nine. Um, I do like the brownie better core. I think the brownies are good. But you know how, you know, with like you know the Ben and Jerry or the um, the Jimmy Fallon one. They give you like chunks of cookie dough and the one I had last week with Aaron, um, the Netflix and chill, like they had a lot of 
a lot more to chew on. I would like a little more to chew on, but in general, I think it's very good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, value as far as like this being like like a thousand calories. Do you think that was totally worth it eating, or even as far as ha them having vanilla? Do you think that was worth the value, or not as much because there was vanilla? You're not. I, I would eat around the vanilla. And eat vanilla. <laughs> <laughs> I totally am guilty as charged. And I've done it in the past. <laughs> it's like we um, if any if anyone watching is a fan of Neapolitan ice cream, <laughs> um, we our grandparents are really into ice cream, also our grandfather specifically, and um, the, the Neapolitan you have vanilla, chocolate and strawberry. Yeah, and we would um, she would scoop out at the end of dinner with our grandparents. She would take all of our bowls and say, okay, like boys, chocolate, my dad, chocolate, whatever else. And she would give us all, scoop it all the chocolate. My grandma would give like a little bit of vanilla, maybe a little bit of chocolate. And only my grandfather would do the strawberry. I hate strawberry ice cream. I like strawberries, but I hate strawberry ice cream. <laughs> yeah, but normally we would have the entire chocolate section emptied out completely. And then you'd have the remaining yeah. <laughs> survivors on the side with it the was vanilla. Like a third and, gone. Right, exactly. The chocolate was totally gutted. But, it, but again, I have to bring up our story about how my kids, I think, think I deprived them because we didn't treat them to the ice cream truck. It was such a horrible experience for them. They're, tra they're traumatized. Mom, we had to go to the neighbor for money for the ice cream truck. It's because ice cream truck, ice cream is subpar so, and, and overly expensive. So why spend the money on subpar, overly expensive ice cream? That's how I feel about Neapolitan. The yeah. chocolate in Neapolitan is like, yeah, it's the Cardboard. kind. It's the kind that you get when you have like a um, an ice cream party at school, yeah. and they give you the little Dixie cups, oh. and they give you what's worse is they give you like a little tongue depressor as the spoon, and all you taste at the it's end the of wood. a bite is it's the, the wood. wood, and you feel like you're in a doctor's office. Like, why? This isn't a party. I'm still in school. Like, and then you you do a little flap, you take off. You just hope the you, flap yeah, doesn't uh, break. Yeah. You, you, <laughs> you hope the cardboard doesn't break. How the heck are you gonna get the lid off if you can't get the? You know, it's like half, half chocolate. Off. Disgusting. Yeah, and it's subpar ice cream. So, do you want to rate the um, rate the value on this particular flavor? I'd give it a seven. Seven. Um, I'm gonna give it a seven and a half. Uh, packaging. What do you think about the packaging, Mama? It's cute. Cute. Eight. Eight's fine. Eight. Yeah. Eight point two. And the last one is creativity. What is the creativity? Creativity is awesome. Yeah, it right. really is. Like, very, like very creative. You have it's the three core. different. It's three different concepts. I would say definitely a nine. Uh, on that value, I think uh, on the creativity, I think I'll give it a nine point two. So our scores will be right here um, for uh, the Ben and Jerry's Brownie Better Core. Now it is time for my mom's ice cream. The one way to go to two stores because she wanted to make sure that this pint versus pint challenge was fair. So she got her favorite flavor in there. Um, so, do you want to? Do the honors? Absolutely. Double Belgian chocolate chip. Um, so it's funny, whenever one of us, like my, my older brother and I would, you know, do well in school or whatever, um, my mom would get us ice cream and she'd always get us this ice cream. I remember the day that I broke into her that I wasn't. I appreciate ice cream. Obviously I'll eat basically any ice cream you put in front of me. But I just don't have the same appreciation for the decadence. How did you get your palate and your refined in your palate? I'm not refined. <laughs> That's why you don't like this ice cream. It's not gonna lie, it's just... The ratings will tell, I guess. Well, I know my ratings already because this is my favorite ice cream. I have it once a week when I can find it. You really? Oh, if I can, absolutely. I need to branch out. You see with the episodes, I try different one every single time. You ready? To Belgium. To the Grand Place. Let's go back. There are very tiny specks of Belgian chocolate, dark Belgian chocolate. And what makes it beautiful is it's not big chunks, so the big chunks freeze and they're harder to bite on. These just are so rich and smooth. It's the best. This is very smooth and easy and creamy. Mm -hmm. It's like with some ice creams, as we were just talking about with um, the ice cream parties that you have in school, when you kind of slide your your um, tongue depressor or your spoon through it, it's kind of choppy and it kind of comes out in chunks. It's to the point where like if you, you, you shovel it towards you, it kind of comes out. 
Whereas this is very fluid, it's very creamy, it's like the texture is like perfect. Like haagen knows what they're doing as far as like how to blend together a homogenous mixture. I also like it because you, it like gelato. Yeah. When we had gelato the first time we were in Paris and it was like $5 for a cone of gelato and they gave you one scoop the size of a golf ball. And we looked at it going, that's all we're getting for $5? That's all you needed. And you wanna, this is the same thing. You don't need a lot of this. Yeah, you're right. I like, this I, I could have had more. Mm -hmm. This I don't want anymore because right. this is enough of like, whoa, this is, Good it's flavor. more satisfying, yeah. Mm -hmm. Start us off with flavor for haagen -Dazs. 10. Really, so you can't go up any further than this. I this really, is the I, best I really don't think so. I don't think I've ever tasted a flavor that's any better than this. Or should I leave some wiggle room, 9.9? Now, if you want to go 10, you can go 10. 10. Just out of sheer decadence of flavor, like a like a 9.7. Oh, yeah. This is this is phenomenal from flavor. Mouthfeel. 10. How is this how is this a 10 on mouthfeel? Because you don't even have to chew it. You can just let it melt in your mouth. Other ice creams you have to chew. There's you know the gummy brownies, which can be fun. And it's yeah. fine, but when I'm enjoying an ice cream and like a piece of chocolate, I just want to close my eyes and let it melt in my mouth. Okay, it's, it's fair, it's fair, for sure. Um, there's definitely, as we said, like the texture is mm -hmm. creamy and it's really, really special in here. Not as much in here, this is very sugary, I, but I, I'm a mouthfeel person, I want something to munch down on. Um, well, I don't remember what I gave Ben Jerry's for mouthfeel. Ben Jerry's still wins for mouthfeel. But this, because of the creaminess, because of the texture, because how easy it is and fluid it is to eat, and because I feel like I don't need any more, like that was that was like enough. Um, I'm gonna give mouthfeel like probably like an eight nine um, value. Oh, it's worth every calorie. <laughs> Absolutely, but that's, that, that's but, the perfect uh, you know talking point. But but it is because you don't need a lot of it. Whereas other, sure. where other, whereas other ice creams, you feel like you need more because you're not satisfied. You know, for value, I do see it from your perspective, which is now upsetting me <laughs> because I thought I had this pint versus pint challenge in the bag. <laughs> but in any case, moms always know best. Um, I'm gonna say value. This was really, it was a phenomenal value because with something like Ben & Jerry's, you are gonna get, obviously you'll get a ton of calories but you can really just kind of binge the whole pint. And it's almost expected that you do, and you always feel like, ah, maybe I shouldn't have. But that, you don't want to, and you probably won't. Um, and it's funny, at the store, they also had um, the larger haagen ones. Maybe, I don't know, maybe double or triple yeah, the size. Yeah. And that was like their gallon. And I can see that lasting a family. Oh, wow. Like a week or a week and a half, depending on how much you enjoy your ice cream. So, honestly, for um, value, I'm going to give like a 9.3. I think that was... All right, I didn't give it a score, so I'm going to say like a 9.5, though. So nine, that's, nine. that's awesome. Yeah. 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 For creativity, I love it. The reason I love it is because, again, they add the, the chocolate, the extra chocolate chips, should we say, the shavings, but they make them very small so they don't freeze. So sometimes when you have that a was true. when you have a chocolate chip ice cream, the chocolate chips freeze. You, you wouldn't think of putting M and M's in an ice cream. You really be kind disastrous. of don't. You're gonna break a tooth. Absolutely. And, yeah. Okay. But this, when you have shavings of dark Belgian chocolate, and it, you saw how smooth it was. I won't give it a ten. I'll give it a nine point nine. <laughs> Being nice because about it, it. Because it's dark chocolate. Now, if it were milk chocolate or white chocolate, the score definitely would have gone down. But yeah. because Depreciates it's Belgian, the one Bel point. Belgian dark chocolate is my favorite. Probably like an, an 8.9 for uh, packaging. I think it was an 8.5. It's nothing spectacular, but it's, it, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a nice look. It's not a cutesy look. It's an elegant look. I'll go 8.5 also. I think that's, um, that's, that's fair. What is that? Is it the ice cream? One of his many birthdays at Friendly's. 
I'm not sure if this is the same birthday that is the birthday gift we then presented him with was a toothbrush, which was kind of uh, a, a very odd ju juxtaposition. It's the second time this word is in a video. <laughs> juxtaposition. There, there you go. Though, or maybe we started him out even earlier here. That's 1998. Eight. You were three. That was your third birthday. Yeah. Basically, almost, and we have very, a lot of special memories over ice cream, including every vacation we had to seek out the uh, the DQ. Not the finest quality of ice cream, but it was just the concept <laughs> that we were seeking out a DQ at every state in the country. Yeah, that's a, that's a goal of ours. I think DQ is not, not phenomenal, but it's fun because it's a summary thing. Yeah. It's something that we do and if you guys watching this video, I'm sure it'll only be friends and family watching this and that's completely fine um, If you guys have been to friendlies Friendlies I feel like they're usually just in the Northeast and um, Friendlies was somewhere that we always went um, for birthdays even just Mother's if you, Day, Father's Day. And even if you just wanted to get a bite of uh, ice cream after going to a different restaurant. I remember going with our grandparents, we'd go to like California Pizza Kitchen and we'd go get um, pizza there and we would forego ice cream at that pizza place and then we'd go to ice, we'd go to Friendly's after for the ice cream. And that's just, it's one of those special things and we hope that this was, um, obviously I always say that this was, we hope this was an opportunity for you to turn your brain off because it was an opportunity for us to turn our stomachs on. But also we hope that you enjoyed watching this because Ice cream for us has always been um, a special thing in that if my brother and I, I'm sure you as well, if we were good and we behaved and ate our dinner, then my mom always had a special treat in the freezer and it was always ice cream. Other people could have cookies, cinnamon rolls, cake. For us it was ice cream and ice cream is just, it's something fun, it's something loving, it's something you have on a date, it's something you have after dinner if you're good, it's something that you everyone has their opinions on, their favorite flavors, their favorite textures. And, I thank you, mom, for coming on this show. This was, <laughs> this was awesome. <laughs> we'll have to play guess the point. Uh, sure, I'm in. Let's do it. Yeah, so we'll be we'll adding, be going on adding, tour. Adding, adding up the scores. Yeah. Yeah. So add the scores. Yeah. They will be up here to see you know what we rated them. Uh, in general, we're gonna finish these anyway. So there's not like we're gonna like leave them here. Um, but yeah, this was this was very very fun. Good night, everyone. And it's about time for bed. It's about nine o'clock. Um, <laughs> brush your teeth. Brush your teeth. Eat your ice cream. And um, see you next time. Stay safe. GoPro, stop recording.